Hi and welcome to Darlene's Creative Studio. Today I'm going to do a tutorial on how to turn this cereal box, which is a very large cereal box that I purchased at Costco. It had two bags of cereal inside one box. It is, the measurements are 11 and a quarter by 7 and 3 quarters by 6 and a half. We're going to take this cereal box and we're going to turn it into this. Let's talk about the supplies that you will need. We don't really need a lot of supplies, um, but I'm going to give you a list, a PDF um, below, so that you can print it out and gather up some of the supplies. And I'll show you some of the tips and tricks that I use to cover this box with some scrapbooking paper, and we use chipboard to fill in and make some drawers. So stay tuned and we'll get going with the supply list. Okay, so let's go over some of the supplies you're going to need to make this set of drawers. You have your um, cereal box, and again, um, I'm just giving the measurements of the box that I have. If you use a different size box, you're going to be taking different measurements, but I'll give you tips and tricks on how to figure that out. The other thing is, don't go too large with your drawers without making the divider pieces that I'll show you to make. If you leave this drawer open and just try and do one simple, two simple long drawers, your center piece is going to um, flop around a little bit. So the bigger the box, the more supports you're going to need and we'll talk about that a little bit farther on. So you start out with your box. You're going to need, um, I use packing tape and I ordered this online from Amazon and you get three rolls. I think I paid $18 for about $6 a roll, but this is a small roll. Um, you get them in this size and you get three per pack and it does have some little lines in it I guess there's string inside this that's what help, helps keep it sturdy and it is sticky on the other side so we have to wet this in order to make it sticky um, and this is I think two inches yeah two and a quarter inches wide so that is what I use for all the edges and putting the drawers together so you're going to need some craft pack packing tape. Um, you're going to need some masking tape. Um, I always suggest taping the drawers together and fitting them first before um, sealing them with the packing tape. So you need some masking tape. I have this little plastic um, tray and this is what I'm going to put some water in. And it's going to be like using wallpaper. We're going to slide the packing tape through this to wet it. Um, so this is what I'll use for my, my wallpaper tray, if you will. You're going to need scissors, a ruler, pencil, pretty basic stuff. You're going to need a sharp knife. I have this little one as well as my handy husky pocket knife and I use this one a lot throughout this. So you'll need a sharp knife of some kind. Um, I think, I don't know if I use this or not, but this is a little foam roller. It comes with this little tray and I got this at Canadian Tire for a couple of bucks. Um, I use this to put the glue on the papers. So we have that. I am using glue all, it's a multi-purpose glue. I get this at Walmart and I've just taken some and put it in a bottle. This is actually a hair color bottle with a little cap on the top. Um, I just pour the glue into this so it's smaller and it comes out, it has a little tiny nib at the top. So I use that to put the glue and I also use um, Fabri-Tac. I'll be using some of that to seal some of the box as well if I want to do a quick seal. So those are the glues you're going to need. Um, for the products, I am using chipboard. Um, I think you can use bookboard as well, but this is chipboard and this is from a binder as you can see from the little holes there. This was a big old binder that I got I think for 75 cents at a thrift store. Um, the older the binders with the nice big rings, the thicker the chipboard will be. Don't buy the, the newer binders like the ones you buy at Walmart and stuff like that because they're, it's really it's corrugated cardboard inside and it's not sturdy enough. Uh, but I just use chipboard from old binders. You can buy chipboard. I have a hard time finding this weight online. This is probably the 100 or 0.100 or 0.1 or something like that um, chipboard. It's a heavy duty chipboard and you want at least two thicknesses of a dime. 
Um, that's the heavy duty stuff. If it's thinner than two dimes, then it's the medium weight. And if it's thin like the back of your scrapbooking paper pads, then that's um, lightweight. But you're going to need some chipboard. And you're probably going to need about, oh, I'm going to say four or five pieces of chipboard because each of the drawers themselves are going to be pretty much you know that's the bottom of the drawer then you need another piece for the top of the drawer so this might do like the top and the bottom of the drawer but then you need all the sides and then you have all your others so you're going to need at least maybe five or six pieces of chipboard and they should all be about the same thickness if it's the um, some of the chipboard is thinner than others use the heavier weight for the bottoms of the drawers and the thinner for the sides of the drawers um, but that's what you're going to need is chipboard. I have these old music pages. Um, somebody gifted these in a swap and these are nice big but they're very very old and very thin. So I'm going to line the insides of my drawers with the music paper. Um, on my smaller ones that I created I use my tea stain paper inside. I just cut up my tea stain paper so I'm going to use that for the insides of my drawers. And then you're going to need whatever you want to cover the box in. Scrapbooking paper. Um, I just grabbed a, a pad of scrapbooking paper that I had here. I've got some different ones. Um, you're going to need, I think I used three 12 by 12 pieces to cover the outside of the box and the fronts of the drawers. Uh, then you're going to be using, an, as an instance, this is the chipboard with the packing tape on it. I have not done the sides or the bottom of the drawer and I have not done the insides of the drawer so the music paper is going to go on the inside and then the scrapbooking paper if you want can go on the outside you can just use plain scrapbooking paper you can leave them plain like this totally up to you uh, but that's as far as I've gotten just covering the outside of the box so you're going to need some scrapbooking paper as well and I would say probably six sheets approximately um, I'm using distressing because I'm going to distress my edges of the um, box, so I want distressing as well. And then I have ordered these handles online from Amazon. I think there was probably nine in a pack. So I've got these handles and that's what I used on the fronts of the drawers. And I've just attached them using brads. And you just put the brads in the holes. The, the chipboard isn't thick enough to use the screws that they come with. Um, unless you want to put another layer of chipboard in the front of your drawer, then you can use the screws that came with the um, handles. Uh, but again, I'm just going to use some little brads. And I don't know if you can see the inside there, but the brad tails just come out. I'm going to cover that with masking tape, and then I put my music paper over top. So you put the, the fronts on first, then the handles, and then we cover the inside. So that is basically what we're going to be using. I also have these little tiny handles. I've used those on my tinier drawers. I think they might be a little too small for those, so I'm going to make another box with these three handles. Um, you're going to need a cutting mat for when you cut your chipboard. And I just have one, an old one that I've cut up. I just use little pieces of it, so you need a cutting board. So when you're cutting your chipboard, you need your ruler and your sharp knife. And then I have this um, silicone mat. You can use the inside of the cereal bags. Just open the cereal bag right up flat, wipe it off, and use that um, as your gluing surface. So when you put down your paper or your chipboard to glue it, um, have something like this down because your tabletop will get sticky. I have a glass tabletop, and I find I can glue right on this and get my wet cloth and wipe the surface off really quickly and then dry it again. You're also going to need just a small cloth of some sort. Um, when I'm gluing things like the packing tape onto the chipboard, you want to wipe off the excess water so that the water doesn't stay on the chipboard because it will make it bend a little bit. Um, so I just, when I put the packing tape on, then I just wipe it off with a simple dry towel. And this is an old t-shirt that I had. So I think that's basically the supplies you're going to need. We're going to start um, assembling the box, getting the box set up, and then we will work on assembling the drawers, attaching the handles, and then um, doing the rest of the covering with the drawers. So that will be our next step is assembling the box.